Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm attempting to frame a signed Doug Gilmore jersey that I have right over here. Fun fact, I actually won this at my cousin's um, buck and doe like wedding party thing. So shout out to them for giving me the opportunity to win this. So the way that I learned to frame jerseys was basically I went on YouTube myself and watched a bunch of videos and I found that there wasn't really a video out there that really explained each process step by step. So that's why I'm making this video today to help people like me who had the need to you know learn about how to frame jerseys properly. Obviously um, I'm not an expert so I'm just going based off what I've learned from and picked up from videos. So hopefully the videos that I've watched will pay off in this project and maybe who knows maybe I'll be good at this. Stay tuned and we will get right into it. Alright so now we're gonna go over what materials you'll need and what tools you'll need to get the job done. The first thing you'll need is a 30 by 40 shadow box frame. I got mine from Michaels. It was regular price $200, but when you are a first time customer with Michaels, you actually get a 40% coupon. And then I also got this 30 by 20 foam board, a pack of two, 30 by 20 foam board, a pack of two. I applied the 40% discount to both of these. And I think I, the total for both was $158. So a pretty good deal considering this is $200 alone. So. And then next, I'm just gonna be using a measuring tape if I need to measure anything and if I need to make any straight lines, I'll use this as a guideline. And then I got a pencil or you can use a pen, marker, whatever. This is just gonna be marking on the foam board for later. I got a scissor to make any necessary cuts to the foam board. I got some double-sided tape. Now I've seen some videos out on YouTube where they just use pins. Some only use pins, some use a mixture of pins and tape. Today I had, you know, some tape lying around and so I said, why not? Let's try it. Um, I wish I kind of had wider tape. I'm not sure where people find the, the wider strip. I'm going to try it, see if this works. And then I got these pins from Walmart. I'm hoping they'll be long enough. It's a pack of 300. Make sure that when you get these pins that you get stainless steel. These say nickel plated steel, which I believe are okay. The reason being you want them to be stainless steel is because over time oxidation um, and just erosion can occur and you don't want any bleeding of some sort of the from the pins going onto your nice signed jersey. Just keep that in mind. And then obviously you'll need something to place into the shadow box. So here we got a signed Doug Gilmore jersey. This is actually on a one of the newer jerseys. I think this was last 2021-2022 jersey before they have the milk sponsor up there. So it's kind of cool to see like a modern jersey with an, with an older player on here. Let's get started with the uh, foam board cutout. The first step we're gonna do is take this foam board, cut it roughly to the size of the jersey so that we can place it inside the jersey. This allows for you know better support and will reduce the amount of wrinkles you have and it'll just make the jersey look a lot more full and a lot more tight, which is the goal. All right, so now you're gonna take your jersey and lay it on top of your foam board. Now I'm just realizing that my foam board, if you can bring this closer here, is actually smaller than the width of the jersey, especially when it tapers um, out this way at the end. So this isn't a major problem. I've, I've already kind of test fitted it and it is tighter up here as the jersey does taper in. So this is a 52. I believe that is an extra large US for normal like shirt size. So I'd recommend getting, if, if you have a bigger jersey like a 52, maybe try to get like a 30 by 30 foam board if there is, if they even make those. But if you're like me with a 30 by 20, I think we'll, we can make it work. So let's place the jersey back on top, start making some marks with the pencil, and then make any necessary cuts. I've kind of just laid the jersey flat. Now I'm just gonna make some marks. So I'm gonna make a mark up here. A mark over here and then I'm gonna make a mark sort of where this swoops down so I've laid the jersey down I made a mark at the shoulder patch over here see that little mark right there I think you can see it that yeah, right there um, I'll end up making a straight line across and then cutting it straight and then I made another one similarly on this side and then I made one where the neck kind of cusps over here and then we're gonna cut that little dip in it okay the good thing about the actual smaller board is that I didn't have to do a lot of major cutting near the bottom here. I know a lot of people usually cut off some at the bottom. I'm literally utilizing the whole board. So now I'm just going to cut up here. If I mess up, I have another board. I'm just going to also round the shoulders a little bit so that it's not poking outward toward onto the jersey. 
So just kind of round these off a little bit. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. This is just to simply fill the jersey a little bit. So you're not actually going to see these cuts. It'll be underneath the jersey, so don't bother if it looks butchered like mine. <laughs> I got the foam board slid into the jersey here, brought it all the way to the top so that when you feel up here, it goes all the way to the top of the shoulder and then right below the neckline there. And I think we can move on to the next step. Okay, I got the jersey laying out just on this table over here. Now we're gonna open up the frame and see what's inside because I have no idea what comes inside this because all the videos I watched they skip past the part of them opening this. So uh, we're gonna find out today together. <laughs> here we go, I see a little hole here. Let's open this up. Guys, this is much bigger in person, I'm telling you. All the videos I watch, it doesn't look that big and then you go to the store and like, oh my gosh, I need a cart. So uh, yeah, just be aware. Okay, now how do we open this thing? Do these slide out? Yep. Oh my gosh. You have to twist all these little little metal pieces here to unlock it. Boom! So this is I guess called the map board, where you'll actually be using the pins to pin the jersey onto, I believe. So I'm gonna place that to the side. Oh my gosh, to the side. Almost lost the damn thing. The rest, I think we can leave for now. So, got to unbox, get that black like mat board they call it, um, outside, and then um, we're gonna be using that to mount the jersey onto. So I put the mat board over here where the jersey was, and I'm gonna be placing the jersey with the foam insert still in it um, on top of the mat board. Like so. Obviously, we gotta measure so that it's sort of centered or centered as much as we can. This is where you're gonna need your uh, tape measure. Let's just roughly eyeball it. I think that looks okay for now. Let's do some measurements here. If I'm using the numbers as a guideline, and we're 30 wide here, the 15 marks here, see how it's a little bit to the left? I'm gonna try to just line it up between the numbers and that should be centered. To make sure it's centered vertically, I'm going to measure it, since this is 30 inches wide, I'm going to measure the halfway point to like 15 inches around here. Uh, place a pin in it on both both ends of the uh, mat board and then basically take this straight across the two points and make sure the letters and everything else is centered and that should make it vertically centered and then make sure that I'm good on my width again. And then we should be good to go from there. Okay. Tape measure. Go around across from it, like so. All right, I think we're good. Now for the gaps right here and then up there, I, I'm just gonna eyeball and just make basically. We'll see what looks good. So now I'm gonna try to position the arms in a way that the arms don't actually cover the autograph right here. Kind of makes it difficult because I only have a little bit of room to work with here. See how it kind of hangs over the edge here. I gotta tuck it in more so that it just fits. Hopefully I don't cover up too much of the jersey. So I'll cut the net to the next clip where I kind of figured out the arms and then I'll show you kind of what I did or explain what I did to get to there. So I just kind of realized something. I basically unfolded the sleeves and it kind of gave me a better picture of how straight I am in terms of like the body of the jersey or like the torso part. It really just kind of made things a lot more easier to visualize. So I suggest just before doing anything, I'm just gonna work with basically the back side of the jersey don't, and leave the sleeves for last. So I'm gonna pin it down so that everything kind of stays concrete so that when I'm working with the sleeves and I'm you know positioning them the way I want and finding out which which way looks the best, I'm not actually gonna be moving you know the majority part of the jersey. So this way it'll keep it straight for the entire process and it'll just make things a lot more easier. So also if you're able to try to elevate yourself, get up high on like a, a stool or a chair and just sort of look at it from like a bird's eye view just as like a final check to make sure everything looks good on your side see how like the armpits you know the same sort of gap from the edge to the armpit the bottom looks good the top looks good obviously you gotta just straighten out the jersey as 
we put the pins in but I think our next step is moving on to the pins. Now we're gonna be working with the uh, pins. So I'm gonna start from the top and then work my way down. One thing to note is that when you're placing the pins in, you wanna place them basically underneath the jersey here, go through the foam first, and then your goal is to hit the other side or the front side of the jersey to pin it down that way so that no pins are visible. That way you can just kinda of cover it up like that and then um, you won't be able to see the pins. So even down here, when you work your way down to the bottom, you're going to be putting pins through here so that it actually hits this front of the jersey and then goes through the mat board as well. So that when you flip it back over, the pin that you just placed there will be completely covered and it will look seamless. Since I have quite a bit of pins, I'm not going to be like too shy with it. I'm going to place basically as many as I would like just so I, I can really get it down tight and get it down secure. And then we'll work our way top to bottom. This will mostly be a time lapse and then I'll go over like basically where I put each pin. So uh, here goes nothing. Okay guys, so the one thing I'm struggling with is the sleeves. The sleeves just <laughs> don't want to cooperate with me. This one rests nice, like it folds nicely, whatever. Um, I just want to capture like one number on each sleeve. So I want to put the nine on that sleeve and then I want to get the three on this sleeve. But it's kind of giving me a hard time. I just got to like, see how it like cuts off the three there. I got to work with it. I also notice it kind of peeks off the side of the map board a little bit here. I think that's okay. As long as it's like not too much. I'm pretty sure it'll still fit in the frame nicely. It'll kind of just tuck around like that and it'll look fine once it's in the uh, shadow box there. Right now, uh, I just want to show you where I put the pins. So for now, I put some pins see down the sleeves here. Um, a tip is start putting pins like on an angle rather than straight up and down. It's really hard to get it through like the wood that's underneath this bungee material here. So just kind of slice it on, a, on an angle and get it into that foam sort of material. I also went it along sort of the armpit up here because this will all be covered by the sleeve once it's folded over. I went underneath the jersey here, got some pins under there just to kind of keep it flat. Uh, the same goes for this side. Put some pins along here, pins along you know both sides of the armpit basically or this you know these air pockets here. So now it's just a matter of placing the sleeves in the right position, getting your double sided tape and sort of putting tape on the perimeter of the sleeve and then flipping over and sticking it to the back of the jersey. Do that for both sleeves and then we can work down to the bottom of the jersey and I think that'll be it. I'll pick up the camera once I figure out how I want the sleeves laid down and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay guys, I think I finally figured out how I wanted the sleeves to lay down. It took a lot of like maneuvering, just like basically creasing it so that it stays put. I did use like the measuring tape sort of just to hold it there like as a weight and then I moved around it and then it actually helped, you know, help shape it to where I want it to be. So now we have like both numbers visible. That's what it looks like. So now I'm going to move on to the double sided tape. Okay, it's one sleeve done. Hey guys, I got the uh, the iron out because I've been spending at least an hour on this sleeve trying to lay it right and it just won't work. So hopefully with the iron, we can straighten it out. One thing to keep in mind is to not directly iron onto the jersey, put something like, I don't know, we have a linen here, piece of linen over top and then iron away. All right, let's do this thing. I called in the sister to help me do some ironing. So let's do this. I'm gonna put some double sided tape like I did on this one and then we'll move to the bottom of the jersey, put some 
bunch of pins on the bottom and hopefully when I turn this thing around it doesn't fall off. So uh, let's do that. Okay, the double side tape's not doing the best, so uh, we're just gonna put a bunch of freaking pins in here. Here's the final product. Looking pretty good. Scary part now is getting it in the frame over there. Some notes here. We put some double sided tape on this sleeve. Put some underneath this seam here. You can see it a little bit. Put some pins underneath here. Hopefully it all stays together. All right guys, camera's gonna die, so we're gonna do it quick. First test, you wanna grab the one side? First test to see if the pins hold it. <laughs> Oh, one second, this is all stuck in here. Okay. Ah, uh, uh. hey. Okay, okay let's, not, let's okay. not play around with it, cause uh, it's gonna fall. Okay. <laughs> it's so bad. We had to switch to the Canon <laughs> video camera cause the good camera is dead. So uh, let's grab this thing from the camera real quick. Nice, looking good, looking good. Look at the jersey, the jersey's gonna go, so just kinda. Lower. Whoa. Good or no? <laughs> I think it looks good. Dang. Hey guys, it's the next day. Um, I ended pretty late last last clip. It was like around midnight. So I decided to just wrap up the video the next day. So today um, I'm just going to show you the final product. It turned out really awesome. I really like how you know everything came together. It actually wasn't as hard as I thought. The only hard part was getting that one sleeve to lay properly, which required the iron to be brought in. So after um, ironing it and pinning it down and taping it, it actually turned out really nice. I'm gonna prop this up, and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. So let's just try this on my own. So there it is. Looks really awesome. Now I just gotta find a place to put it on the wall. So before I wrap up the video, I just want to go over a few things that I've learned throughout the process. When the mat board was out of the frame here, I think I showed this early in the video, but the sleeves poked out um, outside of the frame board. I thought that was going to be a problem, but when placing it in the shadow box, it actually tucked in nicely. It didn't affect any of the you know placement or any of the, it wasn't like a difficult to snap the backing on. So don't worry if your sleeves kind of poke outside of the frame board because when you put it into the shadow box it ends up working still. Another thing I'd recommend is getting bigger pins, longer and bigger size like head pins. Mine are 19 millimeters by 0.6 millimeters and the head on the pin was like very tiny. I kind of wish I got like a bigger pin so I'm kind of worried that the pins won't be strong enough to hold the weight of the jersey and the foam board over time. Right now it's working but hopefully it won't become an issue down the road. Another thing I'd recommend is if you can try to find the double sided tape, the wider strip double sided tape. It was just a little bit hard to work with the skinnier um, strip of double sided tape. It still did the job but I would definitely recommend getting more heavy duty kind of double sided tape. So here's just a closer look at the jersey in the frame now. Turned out really really nice. It's not perfect but I mean, it's pretty good for my first time. Another thing I like is you can kind of see like there's a little bit of wrinkles here and there. And I like that because it gives the jersey more character. It actually makes it look like a jersey and not like a picture. So it makes it look more like clothing rather than like a painting or something. It doesn't look fake, you know. It kind of gives it that authentic jersey look, which I kind of like. If you see wrinkles in yours, like don't worry about it too much. You might, and it might actually turn out pretty good once you put it all together. This is the sleeve that was giving me the most issues. I probably spent about an hour trying to lay it right, trying to get the three to stay, you know, visible. And before bringing the iron in, it took quite a long time. So I put a pin on the edge of like the embroidery of the number. You can see it right there. There's the head of the pin. Just to keep that three from folding in towards the, the armpit. It was just being stubborn, so I just put a pin there. So if you have to place pins where they're going to be visible, they won't be from far away, which is 
a good thing. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for coming along with me during the process of framing a signed hockey jersey. I really hope I could help um, any of you who are trying to do this yourselves and are just kind of stuck on, you know, the process and what's involved. Again, this is my first time doing this. I'm not an expert by any sort. I just learned and picked up on things that I've seen in videos on YouTube. So I hope that this video could also help you save some money. It is pretty costly to bring this to someone who does it professionally or who's someone who has experience doing it. I think this would have cost me around $250 to $400 to get done by an experienced individual. I was like, why not just try it myself? Went on YouTube, watch a few videos. I take this over, you know, spending the extra $150, $200 to get it framed professionally. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next video. I'm not sure when that will be out. Make sure to subscribe and give this video a like. If you have any questions about what I did or what I used, just make a comment in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks guys and have a good day.